Hey guys, back for another one. This one, I just want to do a, a quick chat on my favourite offshore rig. Okay, um, it's one of the most basic rigs to make and use, uh, but you can use it in so many different you know, places for so many different varieties of fish. So what I was just going to do is give you a quick rundown of my favourite, all-time favourite offshore rig. Like I know I've got my favourite live baiting one for snapper at night time, but this one I use pretty much for everything else, and I mean everything else. So basically, what I'm talking about is just my two-hook snelled rig. Don't worry about the uh, beads and lumo and stuff, this is a snapper rig. But just snelled, like so. Um, something about this rig, you can use it for a lot of different things. Like the one I'm holding my hand is obviously a snapper rig, so I put pilchards on this, yakas, uh, half slimies, that sort of thing for snapper. And I've got a small sinker on it, depending on the current. And this is a small rig, so you actually float line it, let it sink down through the water column slowly. And it's a very good rig for snapper. I've caught Jew and Cobia and Tuna and all sorts of things on this rig, just floating baits down. So just a snelled hook in a smaller version, like so, with 40 pound trace, so that's about a 30 pound trace. Great for snapper and floating baits down for bits and pieces. But where else this rig comes in its own, just upgrade it, upgrade it like so. And with this one here, I would have been using for jewies around heavy structure. So you have fairly heavy line, big sinkers. And once again, sinker straight on top of the straight on top of the snell hooks. Put a live pike or a yak or a slimy on on this. Drop it down to the bottom slowly. Okay, wind up about a meter. Have it sitting in a rod holder so your bait's sitting there to swim like so. It's a deadly live bait rig. It is awesome for jewies and cobia, and even out wider on kingfish and samson and AJs and all that sort of stuff. Um, all you need to do is adjust your hook sizes to the bait you're using and the sinker sizes to your depth and if you want to actually you know, be on the bottom or not. Like I'll use this on around the 18s, 24s and a bit of current for live bait for Jew mainly. And cobia, and the other way it's too is I was chasing cobia. I'd have one of these down deep and then I'd have exactly the same rig with a sinker half the size, midwater. Then I'd have the same rig again with a very small sinker, something like that, that one there. Okay, with, all with live bait, and the top one will be basically free swimming, just under the surface. Then you'll have one midwater, one the bottom, chasing cobia. When you go out to the 36s and 50s, and you'll want to chase a few snapper out there, basically back to this rig again, just upgrade your sinker. Like it's going to be like three times, four times the size of that, depending on the current, even up to something like that. It doesn't sound like float lining, but when you're out deep and rage, raging current, it is. And chasing snapper. And the other thing about these rigs is too, not only having live baits on the bottom, but you can float, basically float down live baits. So float line with live baits. So small sinkers, yeah, you know, half the size of that generally, and stand at the back of the boat feeding line off. I do that out in the 50s, and it's a good way to get kingfish. It takes a while to get down there, don't get me wrong. You'd be standing there for five minutes just feeding line off very slowly. Sink a half that sort of size with a live yakker on it. It'll take a few minutes to get down to the strike zone, but once you get down, the big snapper and the kingfish you're catching on float lining a live bait in the 50s, it works a treat. And if you get down near the bottom, or close to the bottom, bloody pearlies love live bait. Big pearlies do. Okay. So once again, just a very good all round rig. You can use your imagination for this rig, just gotta change the hook size, um, leader size, and sinker size. But dead baits, live baits, flesh baits, strips of fish, it doesn't matter. Use your imagination. This rig will work in a lot of different environments for a lot of different species. And it's probably one of the easiest rigs to tie. Like it's just too snell, like you can snell this, or like this one has been here, or uni knot, snell the top one, and sink it straight on top. That's it. Just adjust the sizes of your leaders and your sinkers and everything, depending on the depth, the current, and what species you want to chase. But this rig will catch a lot of species. God, I've even freaking caught marlin stuff on this rig, when you just put in, like, float, what I was talking about, indigo, floating live baits down. Just float lining live baits. I've even picked up marlin. Mackerel, wahoo, hooked them all, caught them all. You get a lot of bite ice, but you do get them occasionally, depending on where you hook them. It just works so well. And last but last, not least, 
So if you're out in the fads and you've got some live bait, stick one of these rigs on for a dolphin fish. Okay, you got a little yakka, take all the tube and beads and stuff off, go a sinker half the size, put a little yakka on it, flick it in around the fads. Once again, this rig works well. Another species. So, I just, that, look, that was it. I just wanted to have a quick chat on my favourite rig. Snelled hooks, sinker on top, it works for so many different species and so many different environments. Um, yeah, guys, it's, if you haven't used this rig, give it a crack. Use your imaginations on bait, sinker size, and everything else. It's, yeah, it's just a good all round rig. It'll, it'll suit most, most offshore fishing. Um, yeah, and apart from that, yeah, we'll get near the end. I think this is like 18 or 19 or something. So one or two more to go, guys, and the how-to series should be over, and we'll get back to normal normal videos. Anyway, I'll see you again tomorrow uh, for the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.